everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Well, I've had a change in plans in what I'm going to do in my van. One of them is I have decided to add another refrigerator freezer into my van. Now I already have a small Dometic. I believe it's the C F X 28 something like that um, I'll show you that later now I'm hoping to use this as a freezer and still use my Dometic as a refrigerator or I may have to swap it out I'm gonna try to make this quick because the wind could come up at any point in time and I want to get this done so I can show you what I'm up to so I decided to get a cheaper model refrigerator freezer and my goal and hope is to use this as a freezer and to use my Dometic as a refrigerator but I may swap it out so stay tuned as I finish my remodeling and redo I should say in my van what I end up doing I chose this one because um, I have some a friend that has this and I saw a couple other videos and I didn't want to spend a lot of money but yet I wanted to achieve a freezer goal and I'll tell you about that why but this one here was on sale a uh, regular $269 and had $30 off but I actually got a cover for this and we're gonna get that on as well and it was only $299 for for the bundle with the two so I thought that's perfect I also needed to make sure that I kept it light enough for me to pick up so I mean I can pick this up it's barely but it's it's light enough that was an achievable goal so I'm opening it up for the first time and just taking the plastic off now I already took it out of the box because when we got back we were rushing around because we got back late there was a rainstorm coming in and windstorm and everything so um, we just basically just got it got it put in the van and uh, we had to let it sit anyways um, upright because when shipping they actually tip it and they put it in all positions so they do recommend that you let it sit upright um, and let it acclimate and everything with the coolant and stuff before you actually fire it up so I'm going to be doing that today so let me show you I'm going to grab the camera and we're going to look inside and look at the size of it okay so I ended up going with the Joy Tudas, and it's weird how they have that um, labeled, but it's T-U-T-U-S, so Joy Tudas. We're going to open it up. That is the size, and I actually am very, very pleased with this. Yes, look at that. Wow. That's going to give me plenty of depth in there. Yeah. So there's uh, recommendations, I guess, on where you should have your temperatures. AC and a DC unit. I'm really impressed with this. So one of the reasons I ended up going with this one was the outer dimensions. But what I needed is to make sure that there wasn't going to be um, anything that was going to become too wide to get inside where I needed to put it underneath the table. Okay, so here is the power cords. It has the 12 volt and then you have your AC power box and then your cord as well 
so you can run it either way and then it also comes with extra little cushions little thing I think that might go on the bottom or something for but let's see if I can see what's underneath here yeah so here's yeah it must be the little little feet <laughs> um, pads foot pads extra ones yeah in case you lose that you've got that as well so <laughs> I am really <clears throat> I am really excited to have this and be able to um, have ice cream, ice, ice for my smoothies, pack up extra meat as I'm traveling. Um, yeah, it's just going to be wonderful, but I'll go over all that in just a little bit. So I'm going to get the cover on, and I already took it out of the bag, the original plastic because I had to make this faster because I honestly don't know if that wind is going to pick up or not here. So sometimes that's the trouble that I have and I'm on a deadline on trying to get this plugged in, make sure that everything's working okay um, because if not then I have to have time to return it and I also have my table coming in, new table next week. So I'm just on a time crunch. So sorry if um, the video is uh, quickly done in segments um, instead of like a full unboxing, okay? So I got a cover for it. It is a reflective cover uh, because I thought it would help uh, my other one doesn't have that. I've never needed it, but it is a much more expensive refrigerator and uh, the insulation and everything. I never had to worry about that one, but with this being a cheaper one, but it's still a good cheaper one, I still thought that I might go ahead and go with the insulation as well to help it um, stay cool when it can get warmer in the summertime. So this is pretty thick cover and it's supposed to help it so it doesn't have to work as hard when uh, it is in the van because remember when you're full time um, it can get pretty hot in there and I am traveling full time. So that's a lot of strain on any ri on any refrigerator freezer setup that you get when you're full time rather than just part time. That's why I chose to go with this. Help the motor so it doesn't have to work as hard during those summer uh, months. Okay, so I'm going to take you around like this. So it does have pockets in the front and it's vented on the side so that's really nice and it has a see-through little cover here so you can see your controls and then it also um, has these little handles and I'll show you from a distance as well and then in the back pockets back here that you can store things and then and then it also has vents on the corner back here where the motor is. And then you also have cutouts for where you put your plug and then also where you need to grab it here for any reason where uh, there's a indentation in here that's acting as your handles. There's no, no actual handles that you connect onto it. And that's one of the reasons why I like this one because I didn't have the extra dimensions of a handle sticking out from the unit because then I wouldn't be able to fit it because I had a really tight dimension that I had to get this in. I wanted to show you how you would get into it is you would just pull, pull this back and then you can actually get to your lid to open up the freezer. But I'm so excited to have this. This is going to really be a wonderful addition to my van life travels. So one of the things that I got for it was some 
of the silicone ice trays. So I'm really looking forward to having ice. Um, especially this one here will make the small little cubes, which would be great for my smoothies that I want to make. So stay tuned, and I will do an update on this. After four and a half years on the road, I can finally make ice cubes. I am so happy and excited. Yay! Okay, I finally have frozen bananas in pieces so that I can put them in my smoothies and they actually freeze better this way. And I finally got some ice cubes. The silicone um, trays I found out take a longer time to freeze, so we'll see if I have to end up getting something else in, in the future. But uh, stay tuned. <laughs> I'm going to give this a try. And one other thing I want to mention, I am not being endorsed by them. I just happened to be looking for a refrigerator that would fit in there that I can use as a freezer and I just researched and I decided to go with this particular one. Um, now one thing I am in very impressed is how quickly in just about 30 minutes it has gone from 54 degrees down to 20 degrees and I have it set for 15 degrees. I just went down to 16. <laughs> Well, I um, have been wrapping up this video. Pretty, pretty cool. One of the things that I'm going to do is I got a temperature gauge for refrigerators. And I'm going to put that inside and we're going to double check and see if it's holding the temperature that's on the gauge over there. Okay, so this is the next day and we're actually going to check and see how the temperature is. So this is saying 11 and over here it is 9. So it's very, very close. I've actually seen it hit the mark. So I just opened it up a second ago so naturally it's going to lose uh, a temp uh, degree. So I'm not too worried about that, but I think overall it is doing really, really well um, holding close to the temperature. But this will really um, help me uh, in the long run to be able to eat healthier on the road, not have to run to town as much, especially um, as this pandemic has been going on longer than I ever anticipated. Um, I'm finding myself not eating as healthy as I could in the last year, eating more um, boxed foods, which is not good. Um, so I want to be able to even freeze some vegetables like carrots and things like that that you can freeze. Um, and I'm going to research more about what items that I can freeze that will be in my diet. Lots of meat. Um, like I said, the smoothies have the ice for that. More uh, frozen vegetable, uh, fruit, sorry, frozen fruit, uh, like um, blueberries, which are high in antioxidants. I hope to get a food sealer and be able to um, preserve my food longer while it's in there. So stay tuned for all these changes, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video and my new addition to my van. And as I work my van, redo around what was necessary at this point to keep me healthier because that is my one goal and has been my goal for the last couple of years is to stay healthy on the road. All right, so I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for coming along my journey. I love you all and I'll see you in that video.